And so people ask me, is it true that existential therapy has a negative view of the world in the same way in which positive psychology has a positive view of the world? And the answer, of course, is no, not at all. I don't really want to judge positive psychology, but I certainly know that existential therapy in the way in which I practice it does not have a negative view of the world. It aims to dig as deep into the negatives as it aims to reach out to the highs of the positives. It aims for life experience to be capable of both extremes and the whole middle range as well. It aims to enable people to face up to that tension in life that means that sometimes good things happen to us and life is good and easy and pleasant and enjoyable and happy and sometimes bad things happen to us and life is difficult and sad and upsetting and nasty even. And that really to live a good life you have to be prepared to have both these things. You can't just have the ups but nor can you have just the downs. You need to be able to allow yourself to deeply go down when life demands that you let go and that you relax and that you release your energy into giving up, accepting, mourning, grieving and feeling the depths of life and the space that you get to, that rock bottom that you touch on which you can build again. And it also asks of you that sometimes you will trust that that ground will hold you and that from there you can reach out and climb up and discover completely new ways of being so that you can trust that new adventures are possible and that new experiences and new discoveries will come your way and that you will be able to make the most of them. So that is what existential therapy aims for. Not to reduce a person so that they are smaller and smaller and that their life experience is more and more concise but also more and more reduced. No, the opposite. To extend your experience of the world, to engage more deeply with your life, so that you will be easy, at ease, with both the down going and the reaching out.